Right, we've now wheeled this particular panel and we've smoothed it up. Spent quite a few minutes smoothing it up, doesn't look too bad. What we need to do is offer it up. It's going to go about there. We've we'll actually checked the profile of the panel. Difficult to get in at this point. There you go, that's not bad. There's a little bit of inaccuracy, it looks a little bit high in the middle. Maybe when that is, uh, there you go, look, just a little bit of tension on there, but once by pressing that down a bit, that goes right. So it, it's a little bit of spring in the panel. Once it's pressed down, it's correct. Some of that will be trimmed off, as we said earlier on. When it comes to joining these two panels together. So as a, as a try up there, what you're seeing, put the two together, the, the shape looks quite good. Okay, that's quite good. Um, we're, we're not going to weld them together at the moment. We're going to look at making the next panel. This is the big panel that sits on the top. That's quite different from these panels. These are small panels with lots of shape in a small area. That's actually a large panel with a little bit of shape all over. So that's quite a different panel to make. So we'll, we'll talk through how we're going to achieve that. So the next stage will be to anneal that big panel to make it soft and pliable. So we'll look at that process. As I explained previously, made all the cardboard templates and we've cut all the pieces out. So already that is uh, a, uh, the rough blank of the shape we're going to, to make. But it's, it, it, it clearly wants quite a bit of wheeling. So it's, it, it, we could either possibly just wheel it straight from scratch to get the shape into it, or we might want to wheel it and actually mallet some shape into it. Maybe using the forming vat and not the bossing mallet. That would give us a nice gentle shape all over. And then we will wheel it from there. It will want shrinking, it will want shrinking along that edge, that edge and that edge, but not the front. The reason being that those edges are double curved and roll down to meet the other panels. This particular panel is where the seating area of the car is, and this really wants to run straight ahead, aiming at where the bulkhead would be. So we would not shrink that edge. So we're just going to shrink on three sides, and that will be sufficient. So we've already seen the annealing process. Uh, you don't really need to see the wheeling process again, so the next stage will be uh, when we use the forming bat and sand bag uh, to shape this panel up.